welcome back to my channel my name is Sade if you are new here just getting off my treadmill workout but I wanted to intro today's video of what I eat in a week episode three you guys it's kind of a mashup of the end of December and leading up until January about mid-January so there's a lot of meals that we're going to talk about today so grab a little snack a beverage and your journal or something that you write in because you're probably going to want to take some notes. I have quite a few meals today so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get started. Starting with a few breakfast options. I usually do some variation of eggs like once or twice a week so today just having a couple scrambled eggs over a bed of arugula and a side of fresh raspberries. And here is the menu of the week. I'm including a few weeks in this what I eat in a week because this was Christmas Eve or week of Christmas and it was kind of a short week. So here's another odd breakfast meal that I had. It must have been a, around lunchtime because uh, having some leftover chicken nugget and fries and my avocado toast and that mango smoothie is so good. Okay, so another breakfast that I've been loving lately is my oatmeal that I add an apple to and it tastes like apple pie. It's so filling and so delicious. I cook the apple with the oatmeal so you get that warm baked flavor. It's so comforting. Next is like having dessert for breakfast. You guys, this smoothie may not look the best, but when I tell you it tastes like a shamrock shake from McDonald's, believe me, it's so good. It really kicks that sweet tooth and, you know, satisfies that craving for something sweet but has so many healthy things in it. I will definitely leave this recipe down in the comments. That peppermint um, extract is the key ingredient to getting that peppermint taste and it's just so delicious you guys and it's so healthy like look at everything that's in it spirulina and cacao greens some healthy fat it'll keep you full so have this for lunch breakfast or dessert so fresh time market has these amazing little pasta packets that are like five or six bucks so such a quick easy affordable dinner and i just added some sauce to them and made a big huge grilled chicken salad love that grilled chicken from simple truth organic I shop for it every week I hate when they don't have it in stock and I have to get the uh, Tyson you'll see that in this grocery haul it's so much better than Tyson like the chicken is just a better quality so look for that simple truth organic brand if you shop at Kroger so Stocking up on a few of our essential items, you just saw our pre-workout that we take, and uh, pretty much just the usual staples, greens, oatmeal, a few herbs, onion, apples, kind of like to add to what we already have, so you may think this isn't a lot, but I have things that I keep in our freezer, and i just been throwing together little crock pot meals, and salads and little things like that during the week are cauliflower tacos so that is our little grocery haul and here is our next menu of the week another pasta dish i always just have like a plain grilled chicken and veggies but wait till you see what that actually turned into Monday night's meal, I'm trying something new, this focaccia dough. It actually turned out really nice just to have on the side with our pesto, spinach, and ricotta ravioli. And I just um, grilled some organic chicken sausage and just plopped one of those on the side. I was going to cut it up and just add it into the pasta. You can do that too, but I got kind of lazy, so you see me here plating our plates. Just uh, boiled the pasta super easy, added in the pesto sauce. That's something I, I had been meaning to use up and I was like, I'm gonna get some pasta this week and use up the rest of this pesto sauce. So I try to do that to make sure nothing is going to waste. And then like I said, I grilled that sausage and just had it there on the side. So a little carb and protein heavy <laughs> no veggies tonight but that's okay um, we enjoyed ourselves and the focaccia bread was really 
warm and yummy and comforting, satisfying. All right, so now on to Tuesday night's vegan crab cakes. These weren't half bad. Were they blow your socks off? No, but they weren't gross either. And that's kind of how it is with vegan food with me. Once I started to eat them and really savor that bite, I was like, oh, I can taste the crab cake. It was a pretty decent vegan crab cake, I'm not gonna lie. Served it with the Brussels sprouts and couscous and that chipotle bitchin' sauce that I put on everything and this wasn't half bad. I would definitely eat this again. And another winter comfort food is crock pot chicken noodle soup. Sharing with you guys the seasonings that I put in here and I just basically chopped up cu cucumber, celery, carrots, and onion. Had that at the bottom of the pot, added the seasonings, and then I just put in some olive oil, added my frozen chicken obviously, and I put in two cups of vegetable broth at first, but then I did add in another two cups. Put the lid on and you're good to go. Later on, once the chicken is done, you'll add in the noodles. And be wary guys, these noodles cook fast. So I unfortunately had them in there too long. You'll see in the next clip, but the flavor was amazing. I cooked it on low for about six hours and the flavor was definitely there. Just hate that my noodles fell apart so but it was still a good soup and i made the perfect amount it only lasted like three or four days sometimes when i do crock pot meals i go crazy so i served it with uh, some butter crackers and a half turkey sandwich okay so here is wednesday's meal that was supposed to be plain old grilled chicken and veggies came up with something better and I'm finally trying this Urban Accents Jamaican Jerk Simmer Sauce. They have a few different flavors and this one is the first one I've tried and it was really, really good. So I turned it into some Jamaican Jerk Tacos, served it with some arugula, a side of jasmine rice and avocado. And this was way tastier than Plano chicken and vegetables. <laughs> And our last meal for this week's episode, I had to share these roasted chicken thighs with you guys because I actually cooked these in a crock pot on high for three hours and then broiled them. They tasted like rotisserie chicken served with some homemade gravy and some broccoli and rice. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment your favorite recipe down below and I will see you all in the next one. Love you guys. Mwah.